So Mr. Sam, what would be your advice to young people like I'm, I'm, I'm key about potential building, I'm key about tapping into the, the you that is inside of you. My, my parents own this, this property, my parents own this property, mm -hmm. they own this property, they have so much more difficult to start a business. Oh. So um, would you advise anybody to, to because those are in the diaspora, they don't want to come back home, they don't want to invest, it's like we're ready no, for I disagree potential with you. I disagree with you, I disagree with you. I mean, oh, I, I okay, think, you I disagree think, with me. I disagree with you, I think people... Thank you so much, Mr. Sam. I Sam Mitchell. Well, Sam Mitchell. So, this is my YouTube uh, community, and I've actually been fascinated about your this whole place. This is the property of Mr. Saint Michel, as he already called and introduced himself. So this is a hotel, a Corona Hotel. It's also a restaurant and also an event hall and also um, has a fast food place. How did it all start? Well, I'm a businessman. I started a long time ago. My parents are business people. And uh, based on that fact, Came, I'm, a, I'm a trained accountant by, by profession, but while working in an accounting office, my mother was a you know, nice fellow, that was about me, um, in the late 1970s, and we had the only right store from, from, from Freeport all the way to, to here at Junction, the only right mm -hmm. store. And that time there was a rice shortage, and there was a tremendous demand for rice. Based on that, and I, I used to have on weekends. So gradually, I started selling rice. I mean, I started selling rice. And I saw the profit in business. I decided to leave my job, to pursue business full time. Oh, okay. so in the very first place, when did you know that you wanted to start this whole? Well, my business, whole my, my parents own this, this property. My parents own this property. Mm -hmm. they own this property. They have so much more difficult to start a business. This place is located at Vamoma. So we opened the business. Uh, Hope that uh, our children will carry mm -hmm. a legacy too. Yeah, yeah. Talking about legacy, that's why you are one of the best person I chose to actually talk with. Mm -hmm. So be your advice for someone who wants to adventure into business, or someone who just want to be become a better person. They want to bring the best out of life. This is one of the pioneer places, and has grown so much. To we have challenges, challenges. When the, when the economy is good, we are good. When the economy is bad, we are bad. But we have insulated ourselves with certain uh, products, certain uh, uh, services that uh, we're able to withstand the, the, the shocks of the economy. But really, uh, what is happening now is worldwide. And the last year, last 18 months has been a tremendous setback, not only for us, but for the whole world. Uh, while we sell, we sell goods and services here, we have seen the increase in prices uh, due to uh, worldwide conditions. For instance, uh, uh, a container from China, which used to cost $9,000, and now costs $18,000. You know, uh, it's very hard to do business right now. But things are picking up, and then COVID, of course, COVID had that devastating effect. It's picking up. I love it that you, you are into business because so um would you advise anybody to to because those are in the diaspora, they don't want to come back home, they don't want to invest. It's like we're ready no, for I disagree potential with you. Place. I disagree with you. I disagree with you. I mean, oh, I, I okay, think, you think, disagree with me. I disagree with you. I think people want to come, right? Okay, conditions. so okay, okay guys. Hey guys, so right now hey guys, so right now I am working. So the rooms within the hotel. I hope you're having a good time with this interview. Um, Sam Michel is one of the pioneer persons in Liberia and he has inspired me for some for some reason. I don't know, he has inspired me with the level of consistency within his flow. I just love that. So I just thought like, why well, don't I just get into, um, get behind him to understand, see, get some wisdom, like how did it all start? How did he start? Because it was a gradual process for Corina Hotel, this place um, that we are sitting right now to grow to this stage how it is now. And I show it was patient and I show him had some lot of things. So guys, all I'm saying is that there is a lesson there that we all can learn. So let's go. And, and, and yes, because Liberia is a, is a, is a good uh, retirement uh, 
area because the 401k will obviously go, go to, uh, much further, especially when you have a house here, you have a car, and you're in retirement, and then if you have a profession, you always get a job, part-time job teaching or somewhere as well. It depends what you want. Well, For me, I had a lot of advantages. I had a lot of advantages. My parents had some money, they had some property, and I was able to build on that. But, you know, um, Right now, we see a lot of foreigners here. You know, uh, when I look for for people to do construction work, I see a lot of foreigners are bidding for those construction services. I see people who want to put bids out for people to come and sell my juice and be agents for my products. I see that a lot of Guineans and Serbians, Liberians, who want to do those things. You know, they want to be in office. I mean, yeah. there's a culture that that you sit down, you get in the office, but all of us cannot work for the government. Yes. Private sector is good. And the private sector is good. What what you make in the private sector is yourself. You struggle, but it makes you strong. That's true. It makes you appreciate the value of hard work and also the ability to save and, 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 and move forward for the, and prepare for the future. Okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Sam. I Europe. And I stayed there for 15 years. I went to school. And I came back. So you know, uh, uh, yeah, my I have I have no no joy. I have no special desire to go anywhere right now. And, COVID. And at my age now, the age of 70, I don't think I would want to get on a plane for 18 hours and have be masked <laughs> up with possibility of COVID, we catch COVID. So I don't see myself going anywhere. And I pray for like you to get better. I pray for uh, the people that leave will do the right thing. And I pray for citizens who come back together and let's, let's continue to be in Liberia. Thank you so much for making it up to the point of video. Let's uh, which restaurant? We have various products and services, especially on Fridays. We've got a happy hour from 5 o'clock. Oh, happy so hour on Fridays. Next time you have a date, you come, come, here. come here. You, you guys, know? when you guys come to Lab River, like whenever you come to Lab River, stop here. I love the And you should tell them too that you're available too. Yeah. For the right guy with the right. <laughs> yeah, I'm available. You are asking. I love the meat pie. I don't know. I can. I will pay my way from, 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 from GSA, PINSA, just to come here to eat the meat pie. <laughs> Yeah, that's not, you know, and then we make it reasonable too. Yeah, like, it's, like it's two very friends very of mine, they were eating meat uh, meat pie and drinking water. I said, well, what I do normally when I go out of town, if they have to go out of town to a funeral or something like that, I take a meat pie or a chicken pie. I take one malter, and when I get halfway through, when I get their journey, and I know I'm going to be there by 12 o'clock, I eat my meat pie and my thing and it lasts me for the whole day or until yeah. after the reason. What would be your advice to young people like, I'm, I'm, I'm key about potential building, I'm key about that within, but sometimes we want to be conformed to the job. So what would be your advice to young people like, someone with potential, but they think that they have to do it this way? Well, it, 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 it's, it's a lot of challenges here in Liberia. It's a lot of challenges here because if I didn't have the parents I had, and they didn't have the public, it would be very difficult to start a business. But, you know, uh, I think a lot of people who work now, they see business, see business people, what you can develop. The, the economy is growing. I mean, you see yes. the, the, the value of land, the prices of land is going up. Mm -hmm. uh, you see the stores, the Lebanese people are building stores on the highway. Uh, and, and, you know, there must be something, you, know, you see that building, big buildings, you know, five, ten million dollars building, you see the economy is not good, but still you see they're building these big buildings, so maybe they know something that we don't know. <laughs> yeah, we got some idea, but you know, it's it's difficult if you don't have that that, uh, that start, that foundation, the foundation is important to everybody, so like you, but I would advise you know, get yourself an education, get yourself a good education, if you have the opportunity, get yourself a good education. The education standards, are rising right now and then also to you kids in the media you educate yourself a lot by going on the the, yeah. the, the uh, various uh, platforms and education right? i mean you you educate yourself how to operate the phones you go to google youtube other places and learn a lot same with me yeah. i do now and I, i'm not going to travel anymore because what i see i'm, I'm ordering stuff from amazon I'm ordering stuff from alibaba I'm ordering stuff from India, you know, and I don't need to go there, you know, as I used to go before. I've been to China 20 times, and I don't think I'm going to ever go there again. I can sit out right here. 20 times, so uh, 20 times. <laughs> what, 20 times? I've been to China. It's a wonderful uh, place to go for vacation, to visit. But China is so big, if you go to China, you won't, you won't be able to visit all the factories you want to. So it's best to just sit at home, let the people send you the samples, and make the election. And I want to do it. 
So this is the restaurant. This is the same with the same Michelle. Just uh, show more. Those are those have succeeded to just get their wisdom, to get their insight. So they inspire, so they make us the young people, whoever it is, yeah. that want to take the next step so they move without any doubt. Because if you see someone who has done it before yeah. and you want to do it, it, it gives you more encouragement. Oh, yeah, definitely. Again, definitely. Again. I think so this, 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 that, is, this is why we want to encourage Liberians because we feel that you know, some, there's a notion that Liberians can't do business. Yeah. And the more Liberians you see do business, but if they can do it, I can do it myself. You know, yeah. you, know you see Lebanese. I mean, first of all, the Lebanese, they see the Indians, they see the Fulans, they see Nigerians, but the Lebanese are left, left behind. Yeah, you know? and it's it just like, even, even the lands are on the highway, there's so much fast land. Oh, yeah, too much, yeah. We'll be able to, to, to do yeah. what we can do, but once you can see do real estate, yeah. that would be nice. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to be calling Uncle Sam, he's in the mind. Thank you so much, okay, Uncle Sam. Okay, thank you too. Okay, see I'm you again, have a nice day. Yes. I So guys, this was this was the interview with Mr. Uncle Sam actually. Um the owner of Corina Hotel is located at um, Vamuma in Sinko. So please give it a try, stop by there and just man this this is Liberian own business own business so, and I hope you enjoy it. Leave leave, leave me a comment, leave us a comment uh like give your take about the uh, the video give your take about the conversation like, and also subscribe please and follow me guy we have to hit a thousand and plus subscriber so thank you for joining my youtube family hmm. if you have not subscribed please subscribe and follow me for more amazing content see you love you